The Bulls defend the Dome. Another top 25 team coming in. And Eddie Lovett, up close and personal. All that coming up on the Robert McCollum Show. Time again to talk USF Bulls basketball, and we welcome you back in for another edition of the Robert McCullum Show. I'm Jim Lighthall, along with the head coach himself, Robert McCullum, and the Bulls continue their battle through the Big East with a couple of league games, one at home and one on the road. And coach, it seems like the schedule makers don't do you any favors. Four of your first six on the road, and all four of those in the top 30. Absolutely, and... Uh... It's been a topic of uh, discussion, as you can imagine, uh, from our circle anyway. Uh, but it, it gets to a point where you, you try and play the hand that you were dealt, play as well as you can, because you don't want that to be um, uh, too big of an issue with the players in, in terms of uh, uh, as unfortunate as it is, uh, it still should not be a reason that affects how you prepare and, and how your players look at the outcome of the games and so we've uh, been careful in terms of, of making sure that we don't get to that point with it but uh, hopefully somewhere along the way that it will balance itself out uh, and uh, oftentimes that's what, that's what you hear from a scheduling standpoint but be that as it may you still have to play all of them and uh, just uh, our hope is that uh, we'll learn from each game and uh, with each experience we get on our belt We'll be better prepared the next time around. All right, Coach, we'll take a look at the highlights of both the Rutgers and Notre Dame games coming up on today's show. We'll lead things off with the Fighting Irish when we come back. These babies were born less than a year ago. Already more than $500 million have been raised for their education. And when they start school, it will be over $5 billion. What makes them so special? They live in Florida where profits from the Florida Lottery have helped fund education with over $16 billion since 1988. Aren't they lucky? When you play, we all win. When it's time to cool off the competition, the USF Bulls rely on CGM Services air conditioning and heating. Call CGM Services today and ask about the Carrier Infinity System, the world's best air conditioning system. The Infinity System takes indoor comfort to a new performance level. So when you want quality service and long-lasting carrier products, be cool like a bull and turn to the experts. Call Mike Charles or another CGM teammate at 813-AIR-COOL. CGM Services, proud sponsor of USF Athletics. Now, Tampa Bay's favorite newspaper makes it easier to be in the know. More colorful, streamlined pages get you quickly to your favorite news and features. And new Sunday sections about the box, the workplace, and travel, books, and the arts. It's everything you'd expect from one of America's ten best newspapers. Designed with you in mind. In the know, in the time. To subscribe, log on to TampaBay.com or call 1-877-THE-TIMES. The Robert McCollum Show is presented by Canes and Save On Furniture and brought to you in part by CGM Services, Singular Wireless, Coca-Cola, Dodge, Kirby's Menswear, Likes Insurance, and by the St. Petersburg Times. All right, Coach, time again for the Singular Wireless Fan Question of the Week. And Carolyn in Tampa is curious about the middle of this three-game homestand. How important is it for you to protect the home court, especially... In conference play? Well, it's extremely important. Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, the most basic formula for winning a conference title, and I think every team aspires to uh, have that as one of their goals at the, going into uh, the start of the season, is by you win at home and you split on the road. Obviously, uh, we've had a very difficult uh, road schedule to start conference play. Uh, each of the four teams we've played have been, uh, were ranked or have been ranked in the top 25. Uh, and so that puts even more pressure on us to uh, win our home games. And you look at where some of the teams that's uh, at the bottom of the conference near where we are, 
uh, St. John's with an impressive win over, over uh, Notre Dame. Uh, and what that does, it says that's a win that probably on paper that you didn't anticipate happening. So we, in turn, uh, can best uh, determine our own fate by winning at home. Uh, it's not as easy as, as it sounds because uh, we have the likes of Marquette and Notre Dame coming up, but yet you play at home and you tend to play better uh, than you do on the road. Well, as the coach mentions, the air miles have been piling up for the Bulls in the first half of the Big East Conference schedule, and USF was on the road again this week when they took on the 20th ranked team in the country. We're talking about the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And coach in South Bend, Indiana, pretty good crowd on hand, and you go right at them toe to toe, really, for about the opening 10 minutes or so. We did, but it was a pace that was uh, too fast for us, given their, their ability to score and their depth. Uh, it was difficult for us to maintain. I know the highest scoring team in the Big East likes to get up and down the floor. They like to shoot the three, but that was something that you defended pretty well in the first half. They only had a couple of those in the opening 20 minutes. Well, I think it showed their, their versatility. They can beat you in so many ways. They have size, they have depth, and if you take one area, uh, part of that game away, they can beat you in other ways. Solomon Bozeman driving to the basket right there, and really Kentrell Gransberry was the guy that was very active in the early going for you. Well, he was, and he's just made his presence felt on both ends of the floor, particularly rebounding the basketball, and he was one of the uh, few bright spots we had at Notre Dame. Melvin Buckley was seeing a big basket in the early going. In fact, the Bulls had a five-point lead on two separate occasions in this game, and then it seemed like Notre Dame really got on a roll there. They went on a 21-2 run, and I know the last five minutes of the first half and first five minutes of the second half are very big to you. Well, they really are. In, uh, on a number of occasions this year, uh, we've hit a wall at different times in, in the first half, and uh, we never recovered uh, once they were on that run in the latter part of the first half. Notre Dame has some big bodies. They have something like six guys that are six eight or bigger but it just seemed like nobody could control Kentrell Gransberry and once he started to score other people were able to get involved like McHugh Mattis right there in transition. Yeah a little too, a little, uh, too late for that and what you need, you need Kentrell playing as well as he's playing but yet you need other guys to play well uh, to, for longer periods of time so that you don't have those long droughts offensively like, like we suffered. You got it down to 10 at one point but then Notre Dame again with another big run late in the game to pull away 82 to 58. They really dominated on the glass as you can see there. The offensive rebounding numbers were huge. I think the Irish had 15 in the game and when we talk about those big bodies it just seemed like they wore you down as the game went on. Gransbury yet another double-double and Chris Howard continues to play well in his early season. Six assists right there. So the Bulls look to bounce back at home against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. That was on Wednesday night. We'll take a look back at those highlights when we come back. Hello? It's for you. Dodge Caliber's versatility and great gas mileage make it perfect for a road trip. All the right features make it even better. Okay, see you later. Music now on the new Red Sync. Free when you sign up for Fast Access DSL. Singular is now the new AT&T. Your world delivered.
Welcome back to the Robert McCullum Show. And we've already covered the Bulls' road game at Notre Dame. Now we turn our attention to the Sun Dome. As Rutgers limped into town on a four-game losing streak, a game that was pretty much a must-win situation for both teams. And coach, obviously with Rutgers in town, you think two teams at one and five, you got a real chance to defend home court here, get off to a good start, and that's exactly what happened with the big fella. Well, that great start was so important. And uh, two teams that have struggled to score the basketball, and uh, while we scored some points early on, it was our defense from the start that just carried us throughout. Well, you're shooting 62% from the floor in the first half, in large part because of plays like that with Gransbury. But, yeah, at the defensive end, you absolutely locked down Rutgers and pushed them to the perimeter all night long. Well, we did, and that was part of our game plan, and it worked to perfection. That was a stretch in the first half where he hurts with offensive rebounding. But with that exception, I don't know that we could have played better defensively, especially in the first half. How about Jesus Verdejo? He really got going quickly. He opened three for three, driving the basketball, shooting the basketball. And again, when you drive and penetrate, it opens things up for guys like Buckley. It does. That was a possession. We had great spacing. And because of the trail's presence inside, Chris Hobbit was able to skip the ball across the top and uh, buck the other jumper. We mentioned you jumped right on the Scarlet Knights early. I don't think you ever trailed in this game, in fact. And uh, Amu Saka got into the scoring column early, and his ankle seems to be getting better. It is, as evidenced by his 17 minutes he gave us. And that gives you some depth out there on the perimeter. And there's Verdejo again in the corner. And for a guy that's a scorer, hesitation really hurts somebody like him. I think you know he, he's got to be looking to score the basketball immediately. Well, most times he is. <laughs> McHugh I mean, Mattis got in a little bit of foul trouble in this game, just like the Notre Dame game, but uh, when he was on the floor, he was productive. He was, and we sort of rolled the dice and put him back in the first half with two fouls we probably should not have. He picked up his third one, and that really limited his effectiveness in the first half. I guess with a lead as big as you had, you could afford to gamble a little bit in this game. We could. Uh, still wasn't a wise decision, but yet uh, it, it's good to have a lead like that because you can take chances. And again, the lead continued to build as the night went on. 62-40 to 40 was the final. Hey, real quick there, Chris Howard really exploiting the mismatches. And whenever he had a smaller guard on him, he would take him right down to the low post. He's got some pretty good moves down there. Well, that's the one of the things we've talked about is that uh, his ability to post up. And I've oftentimes described him as kind of a... a I don't want to say a poor man's version, but this style of play is similar to that of Mark Jackson, a player that had a very successful NBA career in terms of a guy that's not a jet quick point guard, but yet distributes the basketball uh, real well and has a great post up game. We ran out of bounds play several times for Chris last night, scored in the first one. We ran it three or four consecutive times. We said, well, they, he's scoring, or they're fouling us, so. Well, why change? <laughs> One for 17, Rutgers was shooting the three-pointer. And you're going to want to stick around for this player feature this week. We're going to get a closer look at guard Eddie Lovett, the young man out of Riviera Beach. An incredible story. Quite a journey to Division I college basketball. We'll meet him when we come back to the Robert McCullum Show. There is no greater satisfaction in life than doing for others. Being a mentor might just fill the bill for you. Don't know where to start? Call us. It would be our privilege to assist. Likes Insurance. We leave nothing to chance. Hit the road and run with the USF Bulls to the Louisville basketball game. Enter to win at any Canes Furniture location, and you could win a trip for two to the USF Bulls road game at Louisville. Airfare for two. Hotel and transportation are included. Plus, you'll get a free Chick-fil-A sandwich coupon just for entering at Canes. The Bulls are back on court, so don't miss a single dribble, drive, dunk, or dish. Visit any Canes Furniture store today and enter free to win. Best quality, best prices, Canes. Now, Tampa Bay's favorite newspaper makes it easier to be in the know. More colorful, streamlined pages get you quickly to your favorite news and features. And new Sunday sections about the box, the workplace, and travel, books, and the arts. It's everything you'd expect from one of America's 10 best newspapers. Designed with you in mind. In the know, in the time. To subscribe, log on to TampaBay.com or call 1-877-THE-TIMES. Interesting times in business today. We hear the word survival a lot. Well will help you survive, but like us, wouldn't you rather succeed? Likes Insurance. We leave nothing to chance.
Welcome back, and this is the time in the show each week when we feature a member of this year's roster. And today we take a closer look at guard Eddie Lovett, a guy that epitomizes the words student-athlete. Uh, and by the way, he can play a little bit too. This week's Players Profile is brought to you by the St. Petersburg Times. It's very hard. It's, it's, it's enduring, definitely. But, I mean, no one said it's going to be easy, but it's a great fulfillment. I mean, I came here on an academic scholarship, so first of all, school comes first. And then to add it on to be an athlete is just even greater. So they're both good things, but, you all know, no school comes first. It's just basically helping me expand on my goals. I mean, it's not helping me. I'm not thinking of this season as any little. I'm just, I'm just putting forth a great effort. I'm still pushing harder every and every day. And, um, I'm just going to get better and better, and I'm also preparing for next year as well. Entering his second season with the Bulls, junior guard Eddie Lovett is ready for the challenges that the Big East Conference has to offer. I learned a lot of things from, I got better experience this year, I, I worked out harder, you know, did better conditioning. It's more, um, you learn basically the plays, you learn the, the overall feel of the game, you learn what the referees are going to call and what they're not going to call and just how the game flows. As a walk-on, Eddie has earned increased playing time this season through his hard work and practice. He looks to provide a spark off the bench for USF. I actually look forward to it every game. I mean, I feel like adding that extra spark to the team, there's like there's a position that couldn't be even greater because it's like the team needs you, and if they, when they need you, you're right there. So, I mean, I feel like it's a pretty good, it's pretty important, and I'm glad it's me. It's a wonderful experience. I mean, he's always there to teach. He corrects you. He makes sure everything's straight. And there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with the perfection because I like it. Well, Coach, you find this guy on the women's practice team, a practicing against the women, but what an incredible attitude for Eddie Lovett. Well, it really is. Let me specify that he actually had attempted to walk on with our team on a couple of occasions, and uh, assistant coaches sort of oversee that. In their opinion, they didn't feel like he could help us at the time, or they actually chose one or two other walk-ons over him. And uh, through some problems, some problems occurred with those two guys. We went to him. And so I guess the best word to describe Eddie in his entire situation is perseverance. He persevered. He was there uh, when the opportunity availed itself, and he made the most of it. And uh, through the injuries and losses through attrition of players, uh, it just worked out for him to where he's been able to add to his academic experience and this perhaps to some degree uh, live out a dream of playing Division One basketball when the odds uh, could not have been greater against him doing that. Just a great story and a young man that brings a lot of energy to the floor. Well, after the break, it'll be time again for the Coach's Corner. More fun getting out in transition and scoring on the fast break. And USF assistant coach Greg Gary will help us get it up and down the floor right after this. Dodge Caliber's versatility and great gas mileage make it perfect for a road trip. All the right features make it even better. When it's time to cool off the competition, the USF Bulls rely on CGM Services air conditioning and heating. Call CGM Services today and ask about the Carrier Infinity System, the world's best air conditioning system. The Infinity System takes indoor comfort to a new performance level. So when you want quality service and long-lasting carrier products, be cool like a bull and turn to the experts. Call Mike Charles or another CGM teammate at 813-AIR-COOL. CGM Services, proud sponsor of USF Athletics. Here's this week's Coach's Corner. Welcome back to the Robert McCollum Show. I'm Assistant Coach Greg Gary. As you're going to see, we've got a number of individual drills for our guards that we send them through each day. Uh, it's a progression type drills. The first drill we're going to use is a dribble off the transition. When you're in the middle of the floor, let's say you're a point guard. You're dribbling up and there's a defender on you and he's backpedaling. 
we're going to give you drills where you can get by that defender or if he's a really good defender we're going to give you some counters to how if he stops your first move you got a second move that you can get by him. Make sure guys when you're coming at him here the old I Iverson uh, crossover you got to get it out of your out of your arsenal okay you got to come right at his back foot plant cross low and push off okay that's what we're not doing we're not pushing off push off when you change direction to go by him boom that next step by him beat him plant cross go by him good Jared plant cross go by him good solo go hey next step go by him okay now what Chris is gonna do you're gonna come at me I'm gonna take away this crossover but then when you hit me back I take it here you're gonna cross over and go back double cross got it good head up head up good McHugh good don't carry it I saw you Montana don't carry it good still gotta cross it the same way the first one every time cap hold up now you're gonna go inside inside out okay Again, this, this drill is also to come putting me right on my heels, okay, getting me leaning one direction. As soon as you see me leaning, explode by and go where the open area is, okay? There you go, inside out. Let's say Aaron's guarding me, okay? As soon as you're coming at him and, and I start to go this way, what's Aaron going to do? As soon as he leans, I'm now by him. But what some of you guys have got to do, this is a big key. Okay, when you go inside out, don't take a little step. Okay, you got to go inside out. Now my big step, I'm by him. You understand? That little move there doesn't do any good if you don't take a big step by him. And slice him. Slice him right by his shoulder. Okay, Aaron, now counter to this move, inside out, back inside. Okay? Inside out, cross. Okay, he's gotten your inside out. Now it's just a misdirection counter. Boom, got it. Good. Good. You can be slow with this. Okay, come straight at him. Get him leaning. Head up. There's one thing we've got to work on too. If Ryan's guarding me and I make a change of direction move, and this goes for any of your crossovers, behind the backs, whatever you want to do. When I cross over and I go here and I get by him, he's got to what? Catch up with me probably, right? So this is why we always got to make sure that last dribble is hard and quick so that when he's now trying to catch up and I'm driving, come on Ryan, catch up, I'm, you're trying to beat me here, I'm right into my jump shot, all right, as opposed to being slow with it. When I change direction, now he can catch up with me. But if I go fast and hard on that last dribble here, boom, I'm quick up into my dribble. Coach Gary, pretty good guard in his day as well, but coach, some individual work right there, and you don't always have to have 10 people on the floor to go through drills. You don't, and uh, that's very important work, and uh, because in, in, invariably you're in those situations. You hope to be in them a great deal in terms of uh, transition opportunities when you, you have a player, a two-on-one, a three-on-two, you have an advantage in that you can get that d defensive guy on his heels you need to have the individual ball skills and creativity to make a play. And uh, we don't have a, a really enough time to, to spend on those things as, as much as we like. But the other part that's important, the players really enjoy it. They have fun doing it. It's an important uh, uh, area of fundamental basketball, and yet they have fun at the same time. And so hopefully through repetition, which is the key to everything, uh, that when they're faced with similar situations in games, we'll do a better job of executing because they can reflect back on the amount of time they've spent uh, through drills with, with drills and, and repetition doing it over and over and over. Well more with Coach Gary on that very subject coming up next week. Next up for the Bulls yet another top 25 team Marquette coming into the Sun Dome in the sandwich game of the three game homestand. We'll preview the Golden Eagles when we come back to the Robert McCollum Show. Dodge Caliber's versatility and great gas mileage make it perfect for a road trip. All the right features make it even better.
Tampa Bay's favorite newspaper makes it easier to be in the know. More colorful, streamlined pages get you quickly to your favorite news and features. And new Sunday sections about the box, the workplace, and travel, books, and the arts. It's everything you'd expect from one of America's 10 best newspapers. Designed with you in mind. In the know, in the time. To subscribe, log on to TampaBay.com or call 1-877-THE-TIMES. <laughs> Hello? It's for you. The Robert McCollum Show has been presented by Canes and Save on Furniture. And brought to you in part by CGM Services, Singular Wireless, Coca-Cola, Dodge, Kirby's Menswear, Likes Insurance, and by the St. Petersburg Times. Another look at those biggie standings right there and the Bulls right in the thick of the race to get to Madison Square Garden for the Big East Tournament. And we're getting used to another top 25 team rolling into the Dome. It'll happen again on Sunday, the Marquette Golden Eagles. The scouting report is brought to you by Dodge. Coach, it's all about defending home court. You get another chance against a top 15 team. Indeed we do, and the Marquette will... Uh, come to the Sun Dome, it's as uh, strange as it sounds, for the first time in three years. The last time they were here was actually January of 04, and uh, a Dodge shootout game, and uh, we played there in January of 05 and did not play them at all last year. But uh, they're a team that I think uh, is uh, after getting off to the 0-2 starts, playing as well as anyone in the country in, in the conference right now. Uh, road wins at UConn, impressive road win at Pitt in overtime. And uh, that team will remind a lot of people of the Villanova team of last year, a team that has three outstanding guards. I don't know if there's another team in the country with three guards playing as well on one team as Marquette. Each team you play provides, uh, presents different challenges. And so this would be the biggest challenge we face in terms of the caliber of the perimeter players that Marquette throws at you. They can beat you in so many different ways. So we'll certainly have our hands full against an outstanding Marquette team. Best of luck against the Big East Player of the Week, Dominic James. And Coach, we'll talk to you after that one on Sunday. Hopefully it's a win against the Golden Eagles. We'll look forward to it. All right, more from the Robert McCollum Show coming up next week. We hope you join us.